things in life that I think really define who you are as a person, really shape who you are as a person. There's education and there's experience. And when it comes to experience, there's the kind that you pursue, like a trip, or deciding to like kiss that girl for the first time, or kiss that boy for the first time. And then there's the kind of experience that just happens to you. Um, like when I got hit by a car and broke my leg, and those experiences, they, they have a huge impact on who you are and they affect who you are for the rest of your life. Anyways, I say it because I want to talk about an experience today. One that I'm like a little bit, I'm a little bit insecure about talking about. Because I've never really gotten into it before. I've never really, anyways. This morning I'm running with my friend Lindsay. Lindsay is a journalist at the New York Times. She's a super awesome girl, and she's also a very fast runner. There she is. There's Lindsay. She's coming in fast. She's coming in hot. Sorry I kept you waiting. Hi, how are you? I'm awesome. Good Which way are we going? I don't know. Which way do you want to go? Lindsay just kicked my butt. I feel great. Bye, Lindsay. Good to see Bye, you. Casey. See ya. See ya. That girl, she's great! Okay, 12 miles at an 8.05 pace. Great run with Lindsay. It's fun running with someone else. Should do that more. Do it again. Do it again. Alright! Do it again, Franny. That's a good step. That's a good step. Good work, Francine. Good work. High five. Good work. Alright. We let the baby cry herself to sleep. It's called self-soothing. Never easy. Normally my vlogs are about really happy things and like super uplifting narratives and today I want to talk about something that's l that's not happy I want to talk about something that's super scary so I just wanted to give a warning that um, if you want something that's like happier chipper like yesterday's vlog then you should just rewatch yesterday's vlog because today is not going to be a happy one and maybe you should skip it I want to share my September 11th story. Now, I've told pieces of this before in other videos. I've referenced this before, but I've never really gotten into like what that time was like for me personally, or what that day was like for me personally. This seems like an appropriate forum for that. First, just a, like a touch of context. I moved to New York City in on June 4th, 2001, literally exactly on June 4th, 2001. When I moved here, I had a three month sublet, so I had a place to stay for three months. After those three months, I moved into a friend's couch that was in the financial district that was literally a half a block from the Twin Towers. Like a friend's sweet apartment, and he was broke, so I got to stay on the couch. On the morning of September 11th, I remember a noise, just like a crushing noise. And I stuck my head out the window like this, and I just remember seeing paper falling. And then my roommate came running out. He turned on the TV and there was no news. There was like nothing. He was like, what is that? And there was nothing. And then like, it came on and it was the first shot of like the building on fire. This is before like 
terrorism was all anyone talked about, it wasn't even in my, my scope of consideration. But I immediately like grabbed my bag, grabbed my video camera, which was this, hold on. Which is literally, literally this video camera, I grabbed it, I grabbed it and I ran out the door. I remember walking towards the front door of the apartment and my camera was recording. It turned into something that I can only describe as an unbridled fear and confusion and absolute terror. So what I saw, and I remember this like vivid, I could draw you a picture of where everything was located, it's so vivid, so vivid in my mind, was what looked like car parts, and they were clearly airplane parts, scattered along the street, like pieces of parts. And then there were, and then there were like pieces of, of, of along the street. And there was a guy there, there was like an EMT or something, and he just had a stack of sheets this high. And he was running around throwing the sheets over that to just cover it. And I remember seeing the sheet hitting the ground and then like red coming through the sheet. And I was terrified. Like I was recording with my camera like this and when that happened like the camera went down and I was terrified. And I looked up and the building was burning it, uh, above me. And then I got on my bike and started to ride away. When I got far enough away from the, the towers to actually like see them, I picked my camera up to film it. And I remember I like zoomed in on this shot of all these firefighters just rushing into the buildings. Like them parking their trucks right under the buildings. Rushing into those buildings. And that is the most haunting memory of that day. Because there's no way any of those guys survived. They're all just rushing in. I biked to my brother's apartment, I grabbed him, and he and I raced to the nearest hospital. We were just like, people are gonna need help, let's go. In the midst of all that chaos, looking down, what is it, 6th Avenue, 7th Avenue? Looking down the avenue, which was my favorite view of the World Trade Center, like this long canyon-esque avenue with these huge beautiful towers at the end. And I just remember seeing one of the towers fall. And I can only describe it as like, it looked like CGI. It fell and there was like this long spine which was side of the tower just remained, it like fell. And then this just like poof, turned to powder and it all fell. So that was my day. It's haunted me forever. I always said like there's really only three times in my entire life where I remember being scared, like truly scared. Two are when my first kid was born and my second kid was born because that's a terrifying experience. And the last time I was really genuinely scared was trying to go to sleep on my brother's floor on the night of September 11th and all you could hear were fighter jets. They had Humvees and military personnel outside the apartment because you weren't allowed south of 14th Street unless you had ID. And I just didn't know. I didn't like the night before I went to bed and I woke up to buildings falling and people dying. And now I'm going to bed again. What's going to happen tomorrow? And that feeling of terror is very real and has never escaped me. Here's some of the footage from that uh, from that terrible day. See, this was when, these are the firemen, like, all rushing in. Um, this is me biking through nearby. These are all people waiting outside. That's the World Trade Center right there burning. That's... That's 20 year old Casey, scared out of his mind, riding my bike up the West Side Highway to get away from, to get away from the towers. And there they are burning. Don't take this the wrong way. I was glad to have been here when it happened. Can't imagine something like that having happened and having to read about it or see it on TV. Being here and knowing what that was like is an experience that I, hold great value in. Okay, sorry for having the vlog, this part of the vlog be such a downer for today. I felt compelled to share that. The reason why I was compelled to share that whole story is I have to go to a fitting where they like put clothes on me today at Condé Nast and their offices are in the new World Trade Center building.
One World Trade Center. Check out that photo. Locked. Locked. Hi, this is Casey. I'm trying to meet Allison. I can't figure out how to get out of your lobby. This okay, place is... Okay, no more, Casey. She's running out to Okay, okay. There she Hi. is. Hi. This is exactly like the Men in Black headquarters. Look at all this amazing clothing. I think this is the right idea. We found a winner regarding the suit. Going with blue. Yeah. Feels good. Looks really right. good. It does look good. It looks so good. Let's try it with the white shirt. Right now I'm being fitted for pajamas. I want a like Kung Fu champion. That's the theme what I want to go for. It can go to my house. I just don't want there to be like... Yeah, what about just like a vest? Are you into that? You don't think I look like a... Like some sort of ninja warrior with this on? You huh? totally do. So what's the problem? Do you feel like it's too big for you? I mean, I like how the, I love the flowiness of it. Oh, okay. If you're into the fit, then I, I feel like a Mortal Kombat character. You kind of look like one. Like you could like do a thing. Yeah. Thank you for my pajamas. Bye. See you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow night. Okay, just to make sense of that, the Met Gala is Monday night. This is my pass for the Met Gala. Tomorrow night is some sort of Vogue magazine pajama party, which just sounds too fun not to say yes to, especially if they're giving me pajamas. That's what that whole situation was about. I forgot my mom's in town and my sister organized this lunch. God, I feel like such a bad family member right now. Nice that family. You know those days where no matter how fast you ride your bike, no matter how brief you keep the meetings, you're just always behind. You can never catch up today.